Hello, it's AI Automotive Reviews. Um, thanks for coming to the channel. And today we're going to talk about the, we're going to take another look at the Easy Air trademark hints at potential uh, door for the 2021 Ford Bronco. And basically, you know, we looked at this before and, and looked at the uh, the uh, patent of the Easy Doors, but this is just another take on this Easy Door patent. Ford Motor Company has filed to trademark the Easy Air with the United States Patent and Trademark Office, USPTO. Uh, Ford Authority has discovered it was filed on July the 8th, 2020, and assigned a serial number of 9004288. Now, the application lists the following goods and services categories. Let's take a look at that application. This is just the, uh, this is just a a picture of what can what could be believed to be the easy door but um we're going to come back to that but first i'm going to look at this now this is the uh the word mark easy air goods and service this is the number land motor uh vehicle doors standard character claim uh mark drawing code for standard character mark serial number 9004-1288 filing date july the 8th 2020 uh, current basis 1B, original filing basis 1B, published for opposition uh, November the 3rd, 2020, which was just recently. Applicant Ford Motor Company Corporation, Delaware, One America Road, Dearborn, Michigan. An attorney on record, Sharon, the trademark, principal, and uh, it was live. Wow. This is really happening, folks. We're going to get those doors for the uh 2021 bronco the easy air doors definitely definitely something that's uh going to happen some way or the other now so far we only seen a small handful of the 2021 ford bronco accessory catalog which the automaker has said will consist of 200 items however ford has promised that more parts and accessories will begin appearing on the Ford Bronco build and price configurator before order books open and production begins. Now, we've seen a couple of different door designs for the uh, new Bronco Emerge since the unveiling in July, including the set of donut doors uh, present on the early prototype, which, which you see here, the uh, donut doors. Um, now, as well as a set of tube doors that give a more open ear feel. However, while the tube doors are already available as a factory accessory, as we reported last month, the donut doors don't appear to be headed to production. That's what they say. And um, we're just keeping our fingers crossed, hoping that that changes. And those, this door just looks awesome, folks. Straight up awesome. Now, the name Easy Door was certainly seen to hint at an open air door design or some sort. Rather, it be a variation of the donut door design or the tube doors, or it could be something completely different. One thing is for certain, quite a few Bronco reservation holders were disappointed by the automaker decision not to offer the donut doors. So the demand for such an accessory certainly seems to be there. So the demand is there and we're just waiting for it to happen. So as of right now, it's unclear how many 2021 Ford Bronco factory parts and accessories will be available when order books open next month, which is actually this month and perhaps in several days, nor which ones will be available. However, Ford is likely working hard to ensure the selection is as broad as possible. And as it has been reported in the past, customers will be able to roll the cost of some of those parts and accessories into the purchase or lease of their Bronco, which will undoubtedly make them even uh, more popular. There's a lot about these uh, donut doors and um, these open ear doors. Let's, let's go in and investigate this a little farther. First, let's look at the, uh, now we all know about the price configurator 
And I'm sure everybody has been there and has uh, configured their SUVs. Now, it was forever when they launched this price configurator. Um, it is said that it's, you know, it's up and operating. And there right now stands to be 190,000 plus reservation holders who have finally priced their 2021 Ford Bronco of their dreams, choosing between a host of packages, trim levels, colors, accessories. Now, one of the more interesting things about the choices in the Bronco build and price too, however, is the fact that Ford looked to nature for some of the Bronco's inspirational options, which was awesome. Now, the color materials offering the all-new Bronco and the Bronco Sport are genuine and trusted and establish visceral connection between nature and the authenticity of the new family rugged SUV. And that's what I believe Bronco wants to do. They want to connect us back to nature. And so they're actually putting their resources in planting trees and making sure that nature is kept and they're being environmentally friendly. They're doing what they got to do. Now, this is Missy Colcelet, uh, the Bronco color material designer. She's saying that it's connected to nature, even the colors and the materials. Uh, they motivate the customers to return to the wilderness and challenge themselves. And this is what the Bronco is all about. Getting back to the wilderness, challenging yourself, getting back connected to nature. Actually, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy, but let's get a little bit um, mythical in a way. Uh, the nature, this the nature in itself comes from the uh, the road Neturu. And Neturu means gods and people don't realize that and back in the day when people were kings at one point after they ruled their kingdom they went back into nature you know after ruling their kingdom for 20 30 years and lived in the woods and actually this was like a cleansing and so we all need that cleansing and for somehow some way ford has connected the uh bronco to that cleansing and may this Bronco be a cleansing machine, get you back to where you need to be. And then, you know, it's the same thing as the Jeep does. The Jeep does the same thing. And the Bronco is just jumping in that family. That's why you got these easy air doors. It's just that connection where you could just see something beautiful. You just hit the brakes and just stop, and, you know, open that door. I mean, you don't even have to open the door because everything is coming in. It's just that flow of energy coming in in the vehicle you got the nature coming in the vehicle and coming out of the vehicle so there's no barriers between you and nature when you're out there living your life and uh taking the bronco to his limits not much to his limits because if you take it to the limits you're going to get some scratch and dings and you're going to get some panels that need to be fixed so it just depends how much money you have how deep your pocketbook is but this bronco is just awesome i mean how they connected it the colors how they connected the interior how they, you know, everything just brought together, the whole scheme of things. Now, traditional exterior colors in the Bronco, in the Ford Bronco Sport lineup, include the classic Oxford white, the iconic silver, carbonized gray, shadow black, along with the several, several blues, a deep rich antimatter blue offered on two and four door models, while the alto blue metallic tinted clear coat, a deep hue with a hint of earthy green, is available in the Bronco Sport. So this is just awesome. This is so much to offer on this Bronco, especially just the connection with these easy doors. I guess I'm going to get off in the colors a little bit and the whole scheme of things just to get back connected. And um, the easy door pattern, this is this is what it is. And um, we, we wait with anticipation, waiting to see where we stand as far as uh, these... Um, donut doors coming to the Ford Bronco. It's only a matter of time, folks. I mean, this thing's just, Bronco is just awesome. With the offline uh, trail mapping and everything else, you won't get, you won't get yourself in a predicament where you're lost. You feel good being in the woods, not worrying about getting lost and going in circles you, and not being able to, um, not being able to get online because of it, you know, because you don't, because your phone doesn't have a signal. 
So the the Bronco is it, folks. Uh, may may the Bronco enrich your life. May you may you live life to the fullest and enjoy the outdoors and get back connected. You know, just chilling and relaxing with the people you love and your friends, enjoying a day away from work and stimulating those creative energies and getting back to you and back to humankind and treating your fellow man with respect and love. Much love. This is A Automotive Reviews. Uh, have an awesome, awesome day. And remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos. Hello, this is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for coming back to the channel. And today we have here the uh, Ford 5.0 liter Coyote V8. Will it even fit in the 2021 Ford Bronco? That is one of the questions. Now, back in September, Ford Authority exclusively reported that the Fomoco never even considered offering a 2021 Bron Ford Bronco with the automaker 5.0 liter Co Coyote V8. And is confident that the 2.3 liter EcoBoost 4 and the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 will suit the outcomes and that customers want just fine. However, that's also left us wondering why the Coyote, will it, will it even fit in the 2021 Ford Bronco engine bay? Now, Ford haven't even looked. Eric Loeffler, uh, Bronco chief engineer, told Ford 30 exec executive uh, editor Alex Luft in a recent interview. Thus, our question remains unanswered, at least for now, however. It's worth noting that more than one aftermarket tuner is already planning on stuffing the Coyote in a new Ford Bronco. The list starts with Pex Power which announced way back in July that it would be selling two different Coyote V8's 2021 Ford Bronco variants to eager customers. Now the base version will come naturally aspirated with an output of 400 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque, while the range topping model features a 2.9 liter Whipple supercharger and crank out 758 horsepower. That's just amazing, folks. Now, Hennessy is also getting into the V8-powered 2021 Bronco game with this uh, forthcoming Velociraptor, which will also come with a supercharged Coyote rated 750 horsepower. Both Pex Power Bronco and the Velociraptor will utilize the Ford 10-speed automatic transmission, along with various suspension and exterior modifications. Now, the problem is, neither company has actually built a running, driving V8-powered Bronco just yet. Pex Power admitted up front that the process figures to be somewhat difficult, requiring all the Bronco auxiliary engine systems, modules, exhaust, and wiring to be replaced with the same components from the donor vehicle. So, it's going to be something else. Now, what that means is that these uh, conversions are going to be expensive. Pax Power expects the uh, base Coyote swap to be $30,000. That is a lot. Now, Sans Bronco in a supercharged version will cost about $45,000 on top of what the SUV is going to cost. Now, meanwhile, the price tag for the Velociraptor Bronco comes in at $225,000. Though that includes the donor vehicle. Uh, we don't doubt that more than one person will successfully uh, V8 swap a 2021 Bronco. But it doesn't figure to be a cheap or easy process. And for that reason, most people will likely just have to live with one of the two stock drivetrains. At least until a more powerful Bronco Warthog or the Bronco Raptor variant inevitably come along. And um, there'll be much more to cover with that, too, as well. Bronco is doing it, folks. And all the customizations that are going to be taking place with this vehicle is going to be off the chain. And those who have 
an endless budget will also, you know, going to be able to do endless things with this SUV. Now, let's go back and look at why why uh, Ford never even considered ever considered it. Now, basically, it's no secret that enthusiasts have been uh, clamoring for a V8 powered version of the 2021 Ford Bronco, particularly one uh, packing the Ford 5.0 liter uh, Coyote V8. And though the aftermarket will most certainly provide at least one version of the new Bronco with the Coyote under hood, it doesn't seem like uh, we'll ever see uh, a sixth generation Ford Bronco come equipped with the V8 from the factory. Now, Exit, Alex Luft spoke with Bronco Chief Engineer Eric Loeffler at the Bronco Day event last I mean, last month, and Loeffler admitted that Ford never considered offering the Bronco with the 5.0 liter Coyote V8, as the automaker is confident that the uh, 2.3 liter in the, in the 2.7 will exist. But it's all about the uh, the carbon footprint. Um, Ford is interested in um not making such a big carbon footprint. They want to make, um, even though they do have the technology such as cylinder deactivation and all the other different, like the, uh, the stop and go where the engine turns off when you have the red light, you know, all that coming into play. But Ford says they will not be able to meet the um, emissions requirement with such a heavy, you know, fuel drinking type of vehicle. And so they're looking at PHEVs, they're looking at electric vehicles. So, you know, there's going to be a lot coming forward between now and 2025. We're going to see some awesome things being done with the Ford Bronco. And that's just awesome and terrific, folks. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Because it's going to be awesome to see. And it'd be great to grab something fantastic from, uh, you know, get a nice Ford Bronco just loaded with great packages. And loaded with all the options and a lot of power. That would just be awesome, folks. You know, the anticipation is getting really, really hot. And 2021 is coming and it's coming very, very fast. And quick. Let's go back and let's visit um, Hennessy. Um, Hennessy is basically when they get a hold of the vehicle, they just do some things to it to make it into a beast. Now they got the Venom Supercharger. They got stuff coming out such as the 750 horsepower available in the 2021 Ford Bronco. This is just, this is just crazy folks. Now, And this is just awesome, folks, with what the uh, Hennessy is doing. Now, the Texas Tuner is going to build the uh, 2021 Ford Bronco with 750 horsepower supercharged V8 engine. Now, this is October 28th. Um, Hennessy performance engineer, HPE, is taking a new Ford Bronco to the next level. When it goes into production next year, the Velociraptor V8 Bronco is going to be powered by a supercharged 5.0 liter Ford V8 engine producing 750 horsepower and matted to a Ford 10 speed automatic transmission. HPE estimates that the increased power and performance will lower the vehicle 0 to 60 miles uh, time to 4.5 seconds. Now, other upgraded um, customs include the, uh, the hood with a scoop, um, larger wheels, tires, upgraded suspension. This is what we see right here in front of us. The Hennessy Lather Interior, Velociraptor V8 Racing Livery Graphics, Upgraded Stainless Steel Exhaust, and more. Now, over the past two years, we have they have built 70 Gen 2 Ford Raptors for the customers by removing the EcoBoost V6 and replacing it with the same 750 horsepower supercharged 5.0 liter V8. Now, they wanted to build the ultimate Ford Bronco for, the, for themselves and for the customers, said the founder, John Hennessy. The 2021 Bronco may be one of the most highly desired vehicles 
since the introduction of the Ford GT. They look forward to taking the new Bronco to the next level. Now, production is going to be limited to 24 units, so hurry up and get your money right. Um, for 2021, the Velociraptor V8 Bronco is going to be available in the two-door and the four-door configurations. And it's going to come with that three-year, 36,000-mile warranty from Hennessy. Now, the complete cost, including everything else, again, $225,000 plus vehicle shipping costs. The Velociraptor V8, it can be ordered directly from Hennessy or through an authorized Hennessy Ford dealer. Now, this is awesome. Let's go through a list of what we see before us. And let's enlarge this baby so we can really see it in all of its glory without hurting our eyes. Now, the Velociraptor VA Bronco specification, you get, of course, you have the Bronco, the two door, the four door, the 5.0 liter V8, custom hood, scoop, 10 speed, Ford automatic transmission, uh, Ford wiring harness, an ECU, 3.0 liter supercharged system, air to water intercooler, high flow air induction, fuel injector upgrade, fuel system upgrade, stainless steel cutback exhaust, Velociraptor, Front and rear bumpers with the LED lights, upgraded aluminum wheels, upgraded off-road suspension system, upgraded off-road tires, Velociraptor V8 custom interior, Hennessy exterior badges, and Hennessy custom front grille. This is going to be awesome, folks. And then we got the Velociraptor V8 exterior badges. And then we got the embroidered headrest. Limited edition It's going to be one of 24. So the serial number plex you're going to be able to get and then a professional installation, HPE engine, engine management system, calibration, chassis dyno tuning, and road testing. Three-year, 36,000-mile warranty. You can't beat it, folks. And this baby is just going to be awesome. 225000 smacking dollars in your face. And this is just awesome, folks. This is, again, sticking a V8. In the Ford Bronco is a dream come true, folks. This is going to be awesome, folks. But I can't wait to see uh, Ford Electric. You know what they're going to do with making this baby electric, and what they make. You know, making it an electric in both gas, and just having all the different variations out there. Nothing but power. So get your money right, and uh, get the Bronco that you love, and get back to the outdoors, and get back connected. And live your life and enjoy things. Enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy the company of strangers. Enjoy tailgating. Enjoy everything. Enjoy being out and about camping and just having a, a great time over landing. And just, just, this is just awesome, folks. This is Automotive Reviews. Thanks for listening. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.